Hi guys, this is Beekeeper Charlotte coming to you from CarolinaHoneyBees.com. A quick little video this evening. I'm about to run out of daylight. I'm using oxalic acid in a vaporized method for Varroa mite treatments. And at this point, I feel very confident that oxalic acid does work. The only thing it won't do is it won't trot up here and apply itself. So it relies on the beekeeper and me to do the treatments when the treatments need done. And I'm just like all of you, you know, it's hot, it's 100 degrees, you had to work, somebody was sick, you didn't feel good. Things happen that we don't do the treatments when we should. It happens to all of us. But unfortunately, the Varroa mite doesn't take a vacation. And I guess if one gets sick, there's thousands others to take their place. So what I'm going to do this evening, hopefully before sundown, is to treat all of my little colonies here. I don't keep a large number of colonies anymore. I used to have over 25 and beekeeping got to be not fun. So now I concentrate on a smaller number of colonies so that I can enjoy my bees. This is the Varroax Oxalic Acid Vaporizer. You can buy many of them. There's a lot of knockoffs. There's a lot of cheap ones. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I would expect the cheap ones wouldn't last as long, but they certainly would do the job just fine. So you need a vaporizer because what you're going to do is take this oxalic acid powder. It's a little powder. It looks a lot like sugar. So be sure you keep it plainly marked in a safe place away from children. And it is not really dangerous. I mean, I just have it in a little plastic container. But what we're going to do is to put a small amount onto this, this rod. And this element will become hot. And it will melt the crystals and turn the oxalic acid into a gas. And then the gas will permeate through the hive. When we remove the heat, after all of the granulars in here are melted, then we will take this out and I will let the hive stay closed up for about 10 minutes. Because as the vapor cools, little crystals will form on the comb and around inside the hive. And as the honeybees move those crystals out, they will clean those crystals out. And that's how the treatment gets on the mites and kills the mites. So what I've done is I have put a, just like a grid board, a white grid board in the bottom to temporarily close the bottom and contain the vapor a little better. And I'm going to slide my vaporizer in the larger opening of the entrance reducer. So I don't have to take that off. And then I will clog the hole with um, a rag or a piece of towel or foam or something. The thing that's important is you do not want to apply these crystals to a hot wand. And with this wand, yes, it's more expensive. I think it was about 165. With this wand, it's made in a way that as soon as I take it out of the hive, I can dip it in a bucket of cool water that I have over here pull it out, dry it off, and go on to the next hive. I don't have to wait for it to cool down. If you only have two or three hives, that may not matter. But for me, I needed that. So I will put the crystals on a cool wand, insert it into the hive. Then I will hook the cable power things, how you like that, to my ATV battery. And I know because I did a test before I got up here in the bee yard that it takes about two and a half to three minutes for the powder that I put in here to fully vaporize. And after that has happened, then I will pull the wand out, put it in the bucket of water, and I will leave the front of the hive closed up for a few minutes with this. It's okay, there will be some bees out here confused, wanting in, but it's only gonna be for about 10 minutes and then I will come back and take out the bottoms and open up the entrances. And within 15 minutes, the bees just seem to be back to normal, just doing bee things. So I feel like overall, it's the least invasive 
of the other treatments that I have done. The equipment can be expensive if you get a better one, but the oxalic acid is very inexpensive. And let's face it, we wish we didn't have to do anything, but I have found that if I don't treat, my bees die. Um, so be a good beekeeper and monitor your bees and treat them with whatever method of varroa management that you choose and make sure that it works so that your bees can go into winter being healthy. Well, I've got to get to work before it gets dark. This is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneyBees.com. I hope you'll visit my blog and sign up for my newsletter because you never know what's going to happen next.